welcome Cancer to Rays of Hope, Rainbow Light, Love and Healing Tarot. How are you? How have you been? I'm sure a lot has happened in the world um, for you and all of us as well. So thank you for joining me again if you are returning. Thank you so much for supporting me. And those of you who have just arrived, thank you so much for being here. And know that twice a month I do love readings and every week I do angel messages. So you can check them out. I've loaded them up already. But again, um, you know, there's a lot going on. So from all the readings that I've been doing, there's a lot of changes and a lot of transformations. People are kind of looking for people who are frequency, I guess vibrating the same way, frequency, their heart, everything on a spiritual level. People are looking more for spiritual connections in their relationships. We don't want to argue about politics. No, 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 no. If you have friends like that, you know what? Love them, but you don't have to join them for every conversation, you know. Love them, but, you know, let's just not go there. <laughs> All right, so anyways, let's begin the reading for Cancer. And so hopefully you've been well and um, had a good holiday. And, and let's see if love is on the calendar. Because you know what? Romance is timeless, right? So it, it, it doesn't matter, you know. It could be on the calendar always. So let's see what's going on for Cancer in this new moon this week of Capricorn yeah so it's a good time to manifest I'm gonna get my mouse out of here it's going to go on a cheese break because it does eat my cards <laughs> oh no one time it shut off my computer by accident and it was my fault really but anyway so here we go for cancer what is coming in what is the challenge and what is the outcome you know resolution possible probabilities and we don't know right because tarot is not about fortune telling. Remember that. So here we go. What is coming in? Grace. The frequency of grace supports our smooth adaption to and anticipation of life currents and changes as we evolve toward a higher version of ourselves on this earthly plane, bridging the divine with the human essence. So it's almost as if what I just said Grace is here and the energy of looking for more spiritual connection in our relationships, you know, more divine, making us feeling more fulfilled and whole, right? Because that's what this whole situation and evolving is the changes that are going on. This 2021 is about transformation, everyone. Yes, our cosmic history is definitely being changed for the better. So hopefully this beautiful energy that's coming in for everyone, as I said before, you know, energy the universal energies just push us, you know? So if you're not ready, well, you're not gonna be left behind, right? So let's keep going here. Let's see what would be uh, in the heart of the reading for you is Cancer. So maybe you've been looking for more uh, connections on a spiritual level for your romances or love life or, or perhaps even groups of friends. So let's see uh, where we are all moving to Cancer for you this month, this week. And the new moon of Capricorn will definitely um, emphasize, it's a catalyst, the new moons, you know, or the full moons as well. Like I said, the new moon is a time to, to create. And then by the full moon, it, it enlightens us, you know, it, it, it shines any kind of manifestation. So it emerges. Okay, here we go. What is the challenge for you? Oh boy, this has been going on for two days. Forgiveness. So... The energy of forgiveness strengthens our capacity to let go of unwanted feelings and emotions. Cancer, you are a very emotional and compassionate um, soul. So if there's any forgiveness or if that's what you've been doing, wonderful. All right, because we don't want to walk around with any un energy that we don't longer need to hold on to. It's just painful, right? So we just kind of let it go, you know, let it go. And, and we start anew and we're filled again. So this is in the heart right now of the reading. And hopefully that's what's been going on or will be going on. In, in moments of change in a graceful way you know forgiving because um, grace is also about forgiving you know gracefulness um, we let go of any um, creations that we might have had and we just keep moving so let's go one more card here for the energy the leading energies of this reading for cancer wow very spiritual here <laughs> my goodness so let's see what the final outcome, possibility, or probability is for you, Cancer. Let's go and see. The first chakra. Wow, you're really working hard. You're grounding your desires, your, your, your transformation. You are definitely grounding it in your everyday life. 
This is the root chakra, which supports our sense of safety in the physical world that reminds us to enjoy our physical bodies. So yeah, so all this change that's going on, if this is what's going on in your um, life, relationship, love life, friendships, you are rooting, you are definitely grounding this new change, this new light body, all right, to love <laughs> and to bring in more wonderful relationships because relationships helps us grow. It's not just about intimate physical bodies and you know all that shiny stuff that after a year and a half believe me the honeymoon is over figure it out if you look back on your life and see where your relationships might have kind of you know dissipated a little it's usually a year and a half so we are definitely uh, looking for freedom right don't mind my eye makeup it's something new someone put on me they wanted to try something and I bought it and I love it but I, I don't know it's Lancome should I say that? Um, no, I've been buying their, their makeup for mm, many, 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 many years. Anyway, let's get on with this. So, <laughs> we're going to use the Romance Angels to see where the relationships are within this energy that's coming out with grace, forgiveness, and really grounding this new uh, body uh, of light body of love in the heart, in, the, in, in, in your physicalness, okay? Because the root chakra is way down in the coccyx area, actually... In the near the anus actually look on my site or anywhere's online and you will see that the life force when we are grounded in the earth that power comes through us it's like we're being plugged in you know when we are grounded in the earth we're being plugged in with all these beautiful energies out there of the nature that you see we are plugged in we are connected to all that you know so go out in nature and feel that when we're grounded we have all that connection with us and then we are out here as well and then we have the stars and the universal energies that come through so it's like being plugged in and phew, the best the best place to be is grounded okay so here we go let's go what's here to recapture your romance allow your inner youthful spirit to shine so yes so you definitely have been moving into something new and that's wonderful be playful yes be playful be playful don't um, stop being you and, and know that that's what life is all about because our soulfulness is all about the child that's in us and it wants love and it's also our parent, right? So be playful, be playful and um, keep moving. All right, so in the heart of this reading where forgiveness is, ah, give your relationship a chance. So work on your partnership, Cancer. So that's cool, you know, um, maybe there's been some, you know, um, disagreements or space that you both needed and so now in this forgiveness of the heart it's time to recollect readjust okay and um, give your relationship a chance if that's where you are and this could be for anyone you know anyone who's um, even on their own you know give yourself a chance to really really heal have that self uh, love and relationship with yourself and let go of the past and really root yourself for new beginnings right this fiery energy fiery energy for new beginnings of romance love anything creativity anything that you want to do in your life all right it's all about love <laughs> what you love not what someone else tells you to love but what you want for for a change so let's go let's see what the final outcome could be possible probable not fortune telling <laughs> Aww. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So it's new love for you, Cancer. New love in this new relationship, moving to the next level, because it looks like there's been a lot of emotional uh, things going on, and, and it's shifted, and it's either or people who have left a relationship. New love is on the way, so keep using uh, this energy of the new moon for grace, for forgiveness, rooting yourself, grounding yourself, so that you attract this new love in the same beautiful uh, new birth that you are in right now your light body your heart okay so new love okay so this is for everyone <laughs> even for me although I'm a Kathy today's my birthday and oh my god oh my reading was not that good but it did kind of become it there was a similarity of what's going on in my life so it's okay you know um, I don't like to read for myself but when I do it for you know the, the channel I kind of pay attention so anyway, let's throw some tarot on here for you guys, Cancer, and let's see um, if we could kind of go a little deeper into this and see what we have. <laughs> so anyway, let's go on for the week of January 
January 12th. What is going on for Cancer in this new love? Yes, this new stage of love, healing, forgiveness. Something has happened. Be playful. Yeah, most of all, have fun. Okay, here we go. So we're going to do our north south east west and a grounding card here so let's cut the cards and we will start here in the north we go here in the west we go here in the east and we go here in the south and in the heart in the center and one down in the root okay so not upside down thank god nope okay so let's see where we are okay Stay there. Okay, so what's coming up here? <gasps> the King of Cups. So we know that this is a very stable and emotional energy, right? It's beautiful. So this is someone in your life or coming into your life who's going to be more stable or the person that's in your life with you, your connection where you give yourself a chance and forgive <laughs> will bring this beautiful stability of energy of of this king of cups energy and for some of you it is the king of cups in your life okay this person could be a friend a family could be a lover it could be someone you just met someone that you are going to meet in this new love because of the past that you've let go okay so here we go <gasps> wow 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 <laughs> look at that beautiful energy this is like in in some cards of the tarot years and years ago many years ago this was cupid's arrows so this is fast moving energy fiery passionate it's a, it could be about a lot of communication coming at you. It could be about travel, but it's definitely so positive. It's a yes card to keep moving, Cancer, wherever you are, whatever you're doing in your love, in your heart. Please keep moving. It's very supportive, this energy, for where, what's going on in this new moon. Perfect. It'll capitalize. Oh, we have the moon. Yes, yes. So you are definitely going to manifest. You are Use your intuition. Use your sensitivity really move in the directions that you because now that you've cleared yourself in this forgiveness clarity comes in and the new moon will bring things to you will bring up things that you need to look at and it also is very very intuitive energy as well so wonderful energy here for you this is probably one of the best readings cancer that i've had done even though it started but you know the gracefulness and forgiveness it's soft you know and it's something that's going on that that is very very uh, supporting so here we go and justice justice wow so things are going to be in your favor whatever is going on is going to clear up okay whatever it is maybe you're moving into the next um, level of your relationship with this new love partner that you've been with um, this new love with between you and maybe you're going to kind of join forces marry uh, commitment or you know you're gonna move in together whatever it is this is saying yes yes you have all yes cards here i hope the one in the middle is too <laughs> oh yes okay so the ten of staves in the middle is showing that you have learned so much because these wands are all about the lessons and about how much you have given into the process of of really really a forgiveness and moving on transmuting transforming and really working towards your relationship you are dedicated in the heart to do that okay so beautiful cancer and the final card here is the queen of arrows who only wants the truth of the, of any relationship of any type of any person you know thing she only goes for the real thing there's there's no fake there's no mask there's no uh, unauthentic energy in her life okay so this is what you want okay this is the energy that's going to bring you this beautiful beautiful new beginning new love whether it's past present or future for all of you wow i'm so happy so let's see what the whispers of love angels have for you this final message for my cancers thank you for being with me today please like share comment and share if this is your first time and again i, I do angel messages every week you know um i think they're important because they're kind of inspiring messages it could be about anything and um so those i'll be doing every week so here we go what is the final message for cancer our beautiful cancer energy here that's going on in this new moon wow you got a lot of beautiful cards here very powerful you're doing a lot of work cancer consider your foundation look at how committed you are to love now look at that 
That's like the Four of Wands, building something in your love life with someone. You're building a foundation. Beautiful ending, Cancer, for my reading. I'm so happy for you. So I hope you guys loved your reading as much as I did giving it. It was fun and inspiring for me as well. So you have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.